Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Justin, and today we're gonna discuss Expel RX. And before we start, guys, I got a package today from Expel, and that can only mean one thing. My good friend Michael Dobbins actually sent me a care package. He does send me care packages from time to time, and they're always full of awesome stuff. So let's take a look at what's in here real quick. Okay, get the paper out of the way. So we have some vinyls that say Expel. Awesome. Some more vinyls that say Expel, and some different colored vinyls in there. Awesome. We have some Expel microfiber towels that actually say Expel on them, if I can open it up here. Very awesome. And of course he sent me some shirts, very cool. Some more cold weather clothing, very cool. And he sent me some for my wife as well, she's gonna love that. And then also we have some Expel Ceramic Boost, which is great for a car that is ceramic coated. We have some Expel Detail Spray, also awesome for a car that's ceramic coated or just a regular car to get some bugs off. And another bottle of each. Man, he really hooked me up this time. Guys, I know I've said it a hundred times, Expel makes some awesome products, but they have even better people that work for them. Thanks for taking care of me, Dobbins. I appreciate it, buddy. So for those of you who don't know, my touchscreen in my C7 Corvette ZR1 is in fact covered with Expel RX. It's actually the same kind of Expel protection you can get on your car that protects against scratches and bird droppings, rock chips, all that good stuff, but it's actually even a little bit thicker for your touchscreen. So that's only one of the benefits. It protects against damage, scratches, and everything on your screen as well, but it also protects against bacteria growth. So for those of you who haven't seen my latest video, I'm actually partnering with Blackout Tinning to sell these pre-cut to fit your C7 Corvette. There's a lot of benefit to it outside of even what I just discussed, but I've gotten a lot of questions on how to apply it. So we are gonna go into Blackout Tinning, which is right behind me here, and we're gonna talk to Josh, the owner of Blackout Tinning, and have him go over how he recommends this to be installed and giving us a couple tips on actually getting it done in a way that looks professional. If you take a look at mine here, you literally can't see where the screen starts and where the Expel RX starts, which is exactly how you want it. The best Expel applications are invisible. So anyway, enough talk for me. Let's get into blackout tinning and see what he recommends for this installation. All right, guys, so we are here at blackout tinning. I'm gonna actually get these cut for you. Of course, we're gonna use Robo Knife, same guy that cuts our Chevy bow ties. Dean's helping me out today, Josh is not as expertised on this stuff as Dean is. So he's gonna go over some of the installation instructions and some important details of the Expel RX here for us in a second. But for now, let's go ahead and get some of these things cut. Here goes Robo Knife, guys. Cutting out all the screen protectors that you guys want. So, like I said, guys, this stuff's pretty cool. It offers protection on a couple different levels. Uh, I'm gonna have Dean go over the details in a second so you guys are more familiar with exactly what this stuff is. But it's really interesting protection. Something you guys should definitely check out. Look at him. What a good little boy Robo Knife is here. Doing his job. He doesn't even get paid for this. Dean's even a nice enough guy to cut these out for me. So all I gotta do is put them in something and send them out to you guys. And this thing's ready to go. Don't ever say I don't do nice things for you. I would never, I would never. They treat me really well up here. Dean takes it to another level. I don't know about that. <laughs> so Dean is gonna tell us exactly how you guys need to go about installing the RX Expel stuff for your Corvette. So Dean, okay. share your expertise. It's a pretty simple process. You don't need to overcomplicate it. There's a few things that you need. Uh, first thing, I would get a Zep spray bottle that you can normally find at Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace Hardware. They're typically about $3 a piece, and for as often as you might use this, it, it'll last for a long time. Um, you want to fill the bottle up with distilled water to this bottom mark that's in the bottle. Um, it's about 32 ounces. And then this is very, very important. You want to use this specific style, the, what we call the Gold Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Uh, this is very important because different types of soaps will react differently with the film. So. You want to get a little bit of this, even just a small bottle is fine, and a little measuring syringe, and you want to fill it up to two mils. So 
two mils of the Johnson soap in the bottle with this much water in it. Mix that up real good so once it's in there, shake it up. And then you can also use this to clean the screen ahead of time before you put the film on. So just lightly mist a towel or a microfiber rag, wipe it down and make sure it's nice and clean. And then you don't need the industrial grade 99% isopropyl. And even the 70 or 91, which you can find at Walmart or anywhere else, get a little bit of this on a clean rag and do a final wipe down of the screen before you apply the film. That just gets off any oil and contamination and anything else that could be on there. Now, whenever you go to install the film, all you want to do is peel the liner off on the back and lightly mist it. You don't want to douse your screen. You don't, you don't want to flush water into the hand unit or anything like that. You just lightly mist the back of the film so that it will slide around on the screen. Now, once the film is in position on the screen, and make sure you have it exactly where you want it before you squeegee the solution out. Um, you want to go from side to side and then up and down, so go in both directions. And then once you're done, take like a paper towel and go around the edges and just soak up any little moisture that will come out the side of the film, just to make sure that it doesn't get behind the head unit. As long as you lightly mist it, then there shouldn't be too much to clean up. You don't want to douse it and put a bunch of water in there. All right, Dean, thank you. No problem. All right, guys, so as, if you didn't see my previous video, I'm actually gonna include it here where Dean installed it on my C7 Corvette because he did this the exact same process. So he lightly misted it and then squeegeed out the water and there was literally nothing left to clean up. So I'll put that video in right here if you guys are interested in seeing it. This is just alcohol to wipe all your fingerprints and stuff like that off. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> Misting the product. Look at that, guys. It's like he's done this before. <laughs> Once or twice. And we basically just hard card the edge to make sure there's no moisture left behind. And that's it. That's it. That is it. <laughs> now, there is actually an installation PDF from Expel that has a couple different pieces of information on it that Dean didn't touch on. And one of them is minimum temperature. So when applying the Expel RX on your screen, you wanna make sure it is above 50 degrees. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually put the PDF on the screen here for you guys to see because there's a bunch of information on it you're definitely gonna to wanna to know. And it helps sell the product even more because there is just so much protection here, guys. It's not even funny. I mean, Expel makes just great products to begin with, but the fact that this protects against damage as well as bacteria that could affect your health. I mean, it, it's a win-win. All right, guys, so as you heard there from Dean at Blackout Tinning, it's pretty easy to install the Expel RX on your C7 Corvette screen. Most of the stuff that is required, you can get fairly easily if you don't already have the supplies at your house, but it's basically just soapy water, and then you squeegee it out for the best possible experience. Now, I watched Dean install this, and when he was done, it actually looked like there was an air bubble or two in there, but he assured me it, that they will come out in time because the screen actually does get warm. So in general, everyday usage, the bubbles actually will come out on their own. So if you put it on there and you notice anything that doesn't look just perfect, give it a couple days, almost guaranteed it will come out. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the Expel RX product, go ahead and leave them in the description down below or shoot me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com. And I'll make sure that you can get a screen protector of your own or answer any questions you may have for me. Like I said, if you are interested in ordering this, go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll make sure you get one. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm gonna have loads of content like this coming for the C7 as well as the C8, which mine's coming very soon, guys, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next upload.